Okay, hey guys, and welcome back to Teal House Farm. Today we're gonna try something new together, just for fun. Um, we are going to try to make something called peasant bread, which is supposed to be a very simple, no need type bread, but still has a nice crusty exterior and soft inside. Looks kind of like a ciabatta. So it's supposed to be really simple. I found this on um, Instagram, I think, and I thought, hey, let's try it together and see how it works. And I'm also gonna show you how we take our turkey base which is uh, something I can that can be made into a soup, a stew, or a pot pie. We're gonna turn this into a pot pie and I'll show you how I do that. But let's go ahead and get the um, dough set up because it does need to rise a little bit and then we'll do some of the other things and have a chat. I love you. I want to help you, Mommy. Mommy, can you help me with Okay, here we go, Goops. Let's make it. Let me go get the flour. Me, Mommy, making Daddy breakfast. Well, not quite breakfast, but she's got the right idea. Let's get started. We need four cups all-purpose white flour into the bowl. And then we're going to add two teaspoons each of yeast and salt and sugar. So that's four cups all-purpose flour. You don't need bread flour. And then two teaspoons of yeast, salt, and sugar each. And then we're going to whisk that together. Little tip here with little guys. Whisks make big messes, so I give them a fork, which gives the same effect, but they can't splash the flour everywhere. And then we're going to add two cups of lukewarm water and try to mix that all together as well. The dough gets pretty heavy, so Isla needs a little bit of help here, but we're just gonna mix until it's really well incorporated. All right, now, that's what it looks like. We're gonna cover and let it rise for an hour and a half. Okay, we're just gonna use a flour sack towel here and just give it a nice cover. And we're just gonna let it sit out in the kitchen because it's nice and warm in the kitchen next to the wood stove today. But we'll start a timer, otherwise I will forget. So, hour and a half. Okay. Okay, it has been uh, just over an hour and a half. We're going to use two buttered dishes. I'm using bread pans. Um, the original poster uses one quart baking like glass bowls. I don't have anything like that. So I'm using these bread pans. Um, and I cast iron pans, you don't usually like grease because they're already really well seasoned. But I thought the butter might have to do with like the crispiness of the crust and maybe some of the flavor in the crust. So I did it just like she did her bowls, even though it's probably kind of redundant for the cast iron pans. But here's the pans. Let's get the bread out or the dough out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, this looks lovely. Look how much that rose, huh? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and use two forks and we're going to just fold it from the outside of the bowl to the center. Let's see if I can set this up so you can get a nice shot. There we go. Um, we're, we're gonna be really careful not to punch it down too much. Oh, was, I saw this on the video. I'm like, I bet this is one of those things that's not as easy as they show you, but this actually is pretty easy. Okay, we're just releasing it from the bowl. So it's not all stuck. Hey, that works really well. So far, this looks exactly like the video, which makes me excited. Okay, now we're going to use the forks to separate this in half. And we're going to carefully try to transfer it to our buttered dishes without dropping it. So we can all have a good uh, laugh on this if it doesn't work. This is how she did it. Uh, this is this is a wee bit more complicated. It kind of wants to come back together. And she made it look so incredibly easy. I am. There we go. Kind of rolled it out of the rolled it out of the bowl. Let's see if we can do the second one a little bit more gracefully. even size so I'm going to go ahead and scrape out everything else 
everything that's stuck to the side and just kind of plop it on top of this loaf to make them a little closer in size so that the baking time is even. And we're going to cover these again for another 25 to 30 minutes. Um, they're going to hopefully rise again. I now have Annie. Mikey did her hair. She did a really good job, didn't she? Annie doesn't like the buns, but I think they're cute. Annie's going to help me. We're going to show you how we're going to use our turkey base to make a pot pie. So this is basically everything that you would have made for Thanksgiving. Put into a can and i'll put the video of how i made this below but i had bought all this stuff for thanksgiving and i didn't want to waste the random odds and ends vegetables so i made what i call a turkey base and so it's like corn green beans or some potatoes some sweet potatoes and a lot of cooked turkey um in a jar and then filled it with hot boiling water and it made a broth while it was canning and you can pour this into a you know a pan add some noodles if you want to add a little more broth it'll make a soup you could pour it into a pan add a tiny bit of cornstarch thicken it up and add some dumplings and make like a turkey and dumplings today we're going to drain the liquid and add some of our dry cream soup base recipe i'll link that recipe below as well and to make the base of a chicken pot pie and then annie's gonna help me do that and we'll make a pie crust real quick and it'll be a good dinner to go with our bread Okay, let's get started. It's pretty simple. We're going to drain the liquid from the jar, so that's the broth, into a separate bowl. And then we're gonna go ahead and dump all the vegetables that are left over into our baking dish. We're gonna need to repeat this again. We have a lot of people to feed, so we're gonna do two jars worth. So drain and then dump. Pretty simple. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and try to spread this out, make it a little more level so we can get a pie crust on top. Annie's gonna help me with that. To make the broth into the inside of the pie, we're gonna add one cup of our cream soup mix, and then we're gonna whisk it together with the broth. Again, forks are better for little people. They don't make as big of a mess. It does take a little bit of patience to whisk this. It's pretty clumpy. We're gonna add one teaspoon of chicken bouillon and a little bit of salt just to add more flavor and more of a strong chicken flavor to the broth that's going inside the bowl. And then we dump that into our baking dish. Well, oh, that's a little too much. We're gonna drain, that looks much better. It's probably about one and a half to two cups is what we want in our baking dish. We're gonna make a pie crust real quick. You can do whatever kind of pie crust you like best. This pie crust is not a champion winning one. I did not do a very good job. We were in a hurry to get this in the oven so that dinner wasn't too late. So don't judge me too much on how this comes out looking. It still tastes really good, but it's definitely falling apart as we're trying to get it here on top of our pot pie. Put it in. Okay, yeah, we're gonna put it in. So not gonna yeah. win any beauty contest, but I do not have the patience or the time to remake that crust. It doesn't really matter. The kids are gonna probably complain about it anyways there's so many vegetables in it okay our our bread looks really good nice and doubled okay both of them do and we're getting the oven here preheated bread to okay from oven here preheated we're gonna put them both in at the same time because they both should take about 25 minutes so yay um, normally I would tell you to make sure you vent the top of your pot pie but there's plenty of holes in it anyway so it's pre-vented um yeah so we will be back when it's all done back up so you can do this okay you ready yep okay I'm gonna have you walk around to this side oh that was dangerous so Okay, okay I'm gonna put it down in the air. No, we're we'll putting it right next to each other. Close it. Ooh, sorry. Okay, now go ahead and close it. Alright. Okay, we just took the breads out. So what I did, I did 350 for 20 minutes and then I did 400 for 10 minutes. The instructions I saw actually didn't have a temperature on the oven. I feel like that looks good and they have a nice hollow funk when you hit them. So we're gonna try to get them hot. Out. Burn my fingers a little bit. There's one. That looks pretty good. Got a nice, nice sound to it. Okay. 
Those came out super easy. Okay, number two. Whoa, look at that, fell right out of the pan. I think the butter was the way to go. All right, we're gonna let them cool for just like 10 minutes so they don't fall apart, and then we'll serve up dinner and give it a try. That was a good look. Pretty crusty on the outside, looks pretty soft on the inside. Yeah, the lobes are flat because I didn't use the size pan. It, it should have been a circle pan and I don't have one. So, but I think this is not flat as in didn't rise, like just short, like there wasn't enough dough in each pan. So I think this actually worked out pretty well. We'll uh, taste it here and see what everyone thinks. Okay, we've already dug in. Annie apparently likes the bread. Can you pass me Mr. P has been pounding his pot pie, which even though it looks a bit ugly, I guess it tastes pretty good. Gibbs, what do you think? I don't like mashed potatoes. Mm, it's good. My God. Let me taste Ivy, how's the bread? Good. Goobs made it. Is Let it good? It's just regular bread, but it was easier to make. Let's see. Give him the bread a test. It's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, that's pretty decent texture. A little crispy on the outside, very soft on the inside. That's why I do off the, um, some the I opened it like three days ago. Is this pulled It's elderberry. Okay. I will say it tastes and smells kind of like sourdough. When it was yeah. baking, I thought, gee, this smells a lot like sourdough. And it has that same kind of texture and taste. So kind of fun. You had a sourdoughish bread without all the work of sourdough. Thanks for watching. And make sure to eat this bread because it's super good. And make sure to give.